Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can hide values on a pivot table. Specifically, I'm talking about errors and blank values. So on this pivot table, I've got spending by cardholder, but I've got a divided by zero error, and I've also got some blank values on here. So my goal is gonna to be to get rid of this. Now, ideally, the, the way to fix this would be to fix your data set, right? Get rid of these divided by zero errors in the first place, get rid of these blanks and fill it in with proper proper data. But you know, you may not have the ability to do so. So the next best thing might be to at least hide this data so at least it's it doesn't show up, right? If you don't want it to. So to to get rid of the errors, it's is a simple solution. We just go as long as you've got your pivot table selected, go to the pivot table analyze section of the ribbon and under options check off this option for error values show. And what this allows you to do is it gives you the option to enter in some text in, in place of the error, or you can just leave a blank. If I hit okay, those divided by zero errors disappear. So that's done. Now let's say I want to also remove these, these blank values from showing up. So what I could do is select this column and create a conditional formatting rule. Cause there's not an easy way to do this from within the, within the pivot table options. You can't really get rid of blank values. But if I go to conditional formatting, I can create a new rule and then use the option to use a formula to determine which cells to format. In this case, I'm gonna create a formula that says, okay, equals A1. And the reason I'm selecting A1 is because I've selected column A. Anytime you're using conditional formatting, you wanna pay attention to the range you've selected. When in doubt, look at this reference here to see what you've selected. In this case, it's A1 is my starting point. So I'm gonna say, okay, A1 is equal to, in quotes, blank. And the key thing here is to make sure I've spelled this out exactly as how it shows up. So in quotations, we've got blank within parentheses. So what the conditional formatting rule is gonna do is go through a1 to see if it's a if, if it equals that value a2 a3 and so on it goes all the way down and this is why it's important to make sure that that reference starts at the right place so now when this is true when this value equals blank i'm going to format this i'm going to go to custom number formatting or category formatting and enter in one two three semicolons and this will get rid of any formatting i'm gonna hit okay and now you see that disappear. So I've got rid of the blank, but let's say I also want to get rid of the number associated with it because it's still, it still kind of looks incomplete because I still see a number, but I still don't know what it relates to. So I can go back into conditional formatting, manage my rules. And now this time, let's say I want to apply it to A and B. So I adjust the range. And the one thing I'm going to need to do is freeze column A because basically I want, to, so that if it's looking at column B, because column A is frozen, it's going to be looking over here to see if this value equals a blank. So even though it's evaluating B, it'll be looking at column A. So that's what I need to do to extend that. So it looks at A and B and hit apply. And now those numbers disappear. So this way I've gotten rid of those blanks. I've gotten rid of those errors. Now the downside of this is, you know, while these are out of sight, these totals aren't necessarily updating, right? So these totals on here, they're gonna include everything. So if you have those on there, that's still going to, to show because we're just, we've just hidden them, but that doesn't mean that uh, they're gone from the, from the data set. Like for Bob's, you know, we've got rid of those blanks down here, but you know, we've got 879, this only adds up to 811. We have to include this imaginary, this hidden total here to get that 879. So that's, that's one of the downsides of, of hiding the data is that it's still technically there. But for the sake of appearances, if you just wanna be able to show or, or to hide uh, any blank values or any error values, then you can go through either the pivot table options to get rid of the errors or use conditional formatting to get rid of the blanks.